Okay. Uh, um, I, well, we've already, you know, and obviously they'll follow. We've already been. I guess, I guess one thing that interests me, and maybe this addresses the question, is you have the issue that the intelligibility of this is not in any single area. It's not in the talk. It's not in the gesture. Right. And I, I frequently go back to a quote in The Neglected Situation, tiny thing, but Goffman mm -hmm. talked about a moving focus of cognitive and visual attention. Mm -hmm. And one of the issues seems to be in this is actually trying to uh, negotiate or use that focus and that that focus has broken down at certain points so people aren't seeing crucial things. Yeah, so, I, this, this, is, this is why actually in the end I've gotten so interested in, in, in going back to gaze. It's mm -hmm. something that you really started yeah. off with a long, long time ago. Oh. But it's somehow, somehow the, the uh, in, in this case, partly because there's so many kids here, yeah. And the teacher's got responsibility for sort of all of them. Right, she's got right, a responsibility right. to her lesson plan. She's obviously mm -hmm. got a responsibility right. to the time. She has to be, she's got multiple foci of attention right. going all the time. Right. So this is more than just a moving focus of attention. It's multiple different uh, things that right. she has to attend to. Right. And that complicates the problem of the fact that the kids are also you know, playing with other stuff right. and so on. And each one of those kids has his own multiple right. uh, foci of attention. So right. that it's actually a question of sort of uh, moving in and out of engagement with right. different right. Uh, attention foci mm -hmm. for an individual, but also for right. these multiple individuals. Right, right, right. And that we can sort of begin to see here. And again, as I say, it's, a, mm -hmm. it's crucial for the, the signers because you try to, f I, I, I tried to figure out early on how they could have such a, a content-filled conversation about something that they sign so little about. Mm -hmm. And one way they do that is just by using, manipulating each other's attention they do it by displaying their attention yeah. and also by uh, you know, deliberately moving yeah. other people's attention around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that uh, that an awful lot can be communicated that does re requires absolutely no referential signs yeah. of any kind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it seems to me a lot of that's going on here, even though in the end she'd probably say, you know, I had my lesson and I wanted to talk right. about mass or whatever, right. that's what I did. Or the kid might say, you know, and I, I told her about how Coke bottles exploded yeah. or something like that. Yeah. And the link up between those different uh -huh. Paraphrases of the event just misses all of the, the international yeah. event. Right, right. Or yeah, and or, or treating it as largely a bit of talk or some such thing. Well, yeah, or, it, or treating that international diameter as maybe right. really relevant. Right. Now, let's see. Is this where we're we? Uh, oh, we're, oh, yeah, we're, we're right here. We're, this is this is where it would go on from where. So if you feel like it, let's go on from that and see oh, what okay. you see is going on. I'm going to say goes up. He said guy. I want to see better here. Yeah. Okay, so, so go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's good. I was going to say, so we were interested in what she's going to do with her hand, the hand that she used to top right. the thing, to see what, how she shows the explosion. Mm -hmm. Can we go back and look at that? Sure. Just using your own uh, technique of trying to see what's happening. Okay. So, yeah, and again, the teacher is really not letting her do her thing because no. it looks to me like what the kid does with her hand is bring her hand over the top of right. this vessel that she's sketched right. and let it come down. So, yeah. sort of, she's not talking so much about the explosion of her right. as about the rolling up and rolling down again. Right, right. Which is a little bit closer to what the teacher's been talking about. Right. But the teacher just go, goes off on a completely different tangent. Right. So she talks about sort of shaking the bottle. Right. To find and out what's in the box. Right, and two quick observations on that. I had expected more here. When yeah. the girl finally gets the explosion, it's very attenuated. Because I don't think it's the explosion she's talking about. Right. I think right. it's talking about the rolling over the top, the yeah. spilling over the top. Right. Right. Let's go back and look, okay. but I think that's okay. what I think. Okay, and right. I think it's a little earlier than here. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, it's right after yes. this. Does this lateral thing right, rather than right. a, 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 a pumping up thing? And obviously, just a, a minor thing, but it may have been going on in these attentions. Is she does the thing, then looks up for the response of the teacher. Right. So that's yeah, I didn't exactly. Back up okay. Look at her, you know, hey. 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 Yeah. Se va para aquí, she says. Mm -hmm. It's not por aquí. Did the little girl say sube? Or only the teacher? Se cae. No, she doesn't say sube. She okay. says se cae. Right. And so se the. Va, se va. Por aquí? No, I don't think so. Let's go back. And okay. She says, para, 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 para aquí. Okay. Se va para aquí. Se 
Sí, no para su vida. Which was better Spanish anyway. <laughs> and then, uh, um, um, okay, uh, two quick observations. One, she's uh, doing another version of the shaking, only her version is really different than the girls because it's put up in this large focal position and yeah. it's done. And then what she does, obviously, it was just obvious, but she, she repeats the sube twice. And the thing is that she's first kind of picking it up, topicalizing, and the second time it's being accompanied by the demonstration. So she, so let's see. Let's look at the sesubi twice. Where's that? It's. Uh, I think it's. I think it's actually down here. She does a sesubi. Yeah. I uh, think she does it after she shakes the thing. Okay. Yeah. Is it, is it after? Okay. Let me, let me see. I think she doesn't repeat it here. Let me see. I thought, but let me just. No, but you may be right. <coughs> but this is a whole thing of going back to see what you're seeing. Not, you're not always right. Yeah. What if it goes up? He said guy. Yeah. So she's she's interested in fact. First it goes up. He said guy. Right. So she's. She's as much interested in the sekai part, which right. is what the teacher's been talking about, the right. settling of this stuff, right. as anything else. Right. Okay, now let's go. That, that's why ah. I meant that twice. Yeah. She okay. does say. She does say. Right. In fact, in fact, she corrects her. Yeah. Sekai. She says. So the teacher actually. Says, you're right. She says sesube, yeah. which which overlaps the sekai. Uh huh. Uh, somewhere in there, of the kid. So you're right. She does say it twice, and she and it and it comes out in the form of correction in the sense of saying the best thing to say or the more right. important thing to say is that it comes up. Yeah. Maybe it's a bit surprising. And then each of the each of the surveys is different because uh, she's using the second one as the basis for the co-accompanying enactment or something. In okay, some let's way. see. <laughs> Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. She does it actually here. So she does it even even before the other kid says sekai. She says se sube, and then she repeats it as if to say, here's the right word. That is so the first one is her saying what it does. Yeah. That's the teacher. The second one is her correcting the kid's word. Because yeah. the kid said it falls down, she wants to say it. She's now concentrating on this going up. Right. So this is the first time around. This is more like a direction. Yeah. Well, isn't that the one that, and, and I'm, I'm wrong, isn't that the one where she's actually doing the elaborate demonstration? Let's go ahead and see. I, I uh, think she's about to start it here. No, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right, actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 So she sh does the shaking yeah. when she picks up this bottle. ¿Qué tiene la Coca-Cola? Yeah. Now, and again, just for, for whatever it's worth, simple stuff on gesture, mm -hmm. that when you say what's in Coke, you're not going to answer with chemicals or something. I mean, the issue is that the <laughs> handshaking is yeah. already demonstrating the relevance of the gas. Uh, and the gas. Yeah, so, that's right. so, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. She's, she's trying to say not just what a Coca-Cola has, but a Coca-Cola bottle when you shake yes, it. Yes. What does that have? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And then one quick thing, and I don't know where it goes. It only happened at the end. At this point, it seems that she expands back to at least one other kid or the others. It's like once she's done the elaborate thing, she now begins she's to... Back, she's moved back to the class. Yeah. And she's, which is, I guess, one of the things that we have to say about these conflicting yeah. centers of attention. So she has to pay attention as a teacher to yeah. every, every student, and especially right. a student who's patiently sitting there with her hand up. Right. But at the same time, she's got this class lesson that she's got to take care of and has to be managing this whole group of kids, some of yeah. them are. Right. And other things. Right. Uh, interesting that this guy's completely out of it, actually. Yeah. Uh, because maybe he's a non Spanish speaker. Uh, uh, what are we? We're up about 136. Let me just see. Was he out of it continuously? I'm no, just going to scan back quick. Yeah, that's a good, good idea. It's like we froze him. Uh, Unless you have I, to be right on the line to get it to go there? Yeah, but I don't think I can do anything. It looks like the whole computer has. No, no. it's not. Okay. okay. I, I found that I had to get the cursor right on the line and then click. Where I wanted to, be. I can't move it. I can oh, only click can, it to okay, a spot. Okay, I can only oh, get okay. 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 So I'm. Um, oh, Jesus. Try um, to play. Try to play. See what we get. I don't think I tried. No, I think you're right. I okay. Think. What I'm going to do is just quit and start. I can't quit. Okay. I <laughs> push it. I'm the Mac guy. No, I can't. I can't get. Wait, well, where's force quit? Okay. So let's force quit. Um, quick time player or whatever. Yeah, we can open it again. I'm glad you were here, Chuck, because I don't know uh, how to do okay. any of this stuff on the Mac. Oh, okay. Uh, I've got to find it though again. I have a way on mine, so now 
I'm going to have to find, oh God, uh, I think. High quality clip. Yeah, that's it. That's right. Good. Okay. And we're back at the same place. Okay, well, let's move back and see if we can get that. Now we can move it there. So what are the kids doing? Yeah. Oh, the kid's shifting. kind of looking down. I want to see when the kid gets out here of this. When he gets out of Yeah. So here we are here. All right. And the, can we move this a little if I can? The kid seems to be focusing on his paper. He's got the paper yeah, he's over kind here. Of playing a game with his paper. It's like doing paper yeah. plays with his paper. Yeah. And he may not be the only one. So he's, now he's completely off. And now we have the girl coming in. In fact, most people are not paying much attention. To right. Kids, paying much right. Attention it's to only, them. and in a way, I was thinking she's getting back to the kids, but this kid has begun to show an interest in the right. thing, and that's why. And she, I, I believe, yeah, right. includes him when she gets to the and end of the. Yeah. Thank you. Send them well. I'm so lovely. Can you see that? Can't see it. 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 Can't see yeah. So she, once she starts to take over again and give teacher talk, which is now yeah. I'm about to teach you a lesson, yeah. she gets them back. Yeah. She's, the kids are not thinking what that little right, kid has to say. Right, 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 right. But she, so maybe yeah. that's part of her deal. I mean, one of these things about these multiple foci is she knows what it takes to run this class. Yeah. She knows that she's got to keep the students on track in a variety right. of ways. And so she turns what the little girl has done, which she really hasn't got yet still. Right, no. Into uh, into some lesson of some sort about what's going on here, and she makes a big claim that she understands when she changes it to gas by doing these elaborate nods. But in fact, she's radically transformed what the girl just said. Yeah, and and I, I just on the second sesuve, yeah. by the way, this, it seems to be quite clear that this second sesuve is a correction. It's something about her face as well. She does something okay, with her head, something with her chin, let's with her nod. Look. Yeah, and that second sesuve. <laughs> Look at her. She's got the anyway the puzzle shaking of her head there. She yeah. still doesn't understand yeah, where it's going. That's right. I, I just want. Yeah. Yeah, it's little, it's little twisting. Yeah. She says sube. Right. Right. So she's and there she's doing. I'm correcting you. Talk. Right. Right. Because she's claiming that's what's going on, independent yeah. of the uh, of the of the girl. Right. And, uh, and now she's going to switch to lesson stuff, right? As yeah. soon as she says, she gets the kid with Sesuve, right. and then she does this, you know, then she does this little demonstration right in here. Right. So there's a real trans transition here of what we would call something, something about, you know, what the activity is. It goes from listening to right. the story, she's got the story right, she's corrected the story, and now she wants to lessify, lessonify the story. Right. But this also, just in my own sense of how you're constantly building next action by transforming in terms of your own projects and things. Mm -hmm. I have a hunch that what the teacher is wanting to do here is to get back to the lesson. So she's hearing the girls talk in ways that it can be transformed to take her back to right. the lesson, sure. which is very different than trying to recover the girl's attention or what the girl might absolutely. She's yeah, tracking absolutely. where those points might emerge. And, and maybe, in fact, what we've seen here is a whole lot of evidence that that's what's going yeah. on. So that, you know, if we were to use this as a teacher training film, it's yeah. like we say, you know, so what are you doing here? Are you actually trying to let this kid make her point? Or are you really trying to get back to your own point? Yeah, yeah. Not as though it's very easy, I mean, perfectly understandable and not very easy to break your habit of doing it. I do it all the time in lecture. You know, yeah, I, yeah. People make a comment, I think right. this is an irrelevant comment, but I'm going to try to find a way to make it right. and to seem like a relevant comment. Right, right. I, I wonder if the little girl might end up figuring she was never adequately understood out of the whole thing. It would be worth looking at what happens to her yeah. in the end here, because then yeah. it goes to all these other kids. Right, right. She, I mean, she makes a mistake, right? She, she, makes, she says the lid, and that's the wrong answer, and all the other kids are the ones who follow But is it, it, it's the, well, wait, it's the wrong answer for the teacher. Yeah. But not necessarily, because it is the sense of, of holding the of holding the Definitely gas relevant for the yeah. kid, because yeah. she's yeah. knowing that it's once you get the yeah. cap off that it's something goes Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the girl, just very quick, when the girl does, and I, my son's terrible, but in a type of day or whatever, yeah. she's come, she's done the same thing the teacher did of stating in another word 
and you're claiming this is what you were saying uh -huh. when it's a not fact. And then the, 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 I think the teacher adds to that then, now that you got the picture, is it begin with an E? Iligas or something? So. E tiene gas. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. She, she, she doesn't really even acknowledge this except just to, she, she, yeah. uh, does she do a little nod or something? Yeah. 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 She, does this. she stops and she goes, e tiene gas. Right, right. With this big lifted head again. Well, I think the way the lifted head goes is she goes nodding toward the girl. She, the up part of the of the head is it's toward the girl, that, and right. the downward part goes to her own gesture. Her own so she pivots yeah, uh, yeah. off the, right. with the head movement. That's right. That's a very nice idea because, in fact, she uses the head movement precisely to go from acknowledging right. that the kid is mm -hmm. doing that to going on to her next lesson, which is yeah. the word gas. And then she, I think, starts to address everybody. Right. And if we just think of, of, of focuses of attention, it's a, a, you know, a subtle way of shifting the attention away from the girl back to her hair. So she's right. constantly, I don't know how this fits with your signers, but they're right. giving some guides for where yeah. you should put the Absolutely, the yeah. yeah. Which is, you know, again, the very, the, the sort of the brute force version of that is you ask somebody something or somebody asks for your attention and starts to sign at you and you deliberately look away. Oh. You know, and people do that. Yeah. People yeah. do that all the time. Or, you know, I've got this wonderful sequence in which the, the, the youngest brother is supposed to be interpreting what the oldest daughter, the, the oldest mm -hmm. sister is saying. He, he finds her very boring. Yeah. She starts to say something and he, start, he looks at her and then he rolls his eyes oh. very deliberately and just moves away. And then he waits for a long time before he comes back to look at her. She knows it, she keeps signing, but she's aware of the fact that he's not oh. looking at her. And it's a, you know, a very deliberate way of saying, this is rubbish, yeah. let's get on with it. So, right. She can't do this, of course, but mm -hmm. she's doing somehow the sort of the equivalent of that by not really getting the little girl's story. Mm -hmm. She doesn't really care about what the little girl is trying to say. Right. She wants to get it back to. And, and interesting. I want to think how these bubbles do it. But okay. Okay. Let's get to that. Right. No, it's up to you. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I, 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 there's other things in there. So. Yeah. Wait a minute. Something <sighs> weird happens with this thing. What could it be? Could it be my sweat on my? Is there some? I haven't got any, but I'm wondering if my hands <laughs> are not working. I can move that. Yeah, but it just wouldn't let you do you anything see? inside this. Inside the it's, it's frozen, because yeah. ordinarily, I think, so we'll quit again, uh, and... You had to force quit it, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Back to the kid. Yeah. Once she says "tiene gas," and then she moves off. She trembles. So, she, so this pivot begins. It seems to me. I think you're right with that little acknowledgement of her. Then she does the the shaking of the, the gas, and then right. and then she and she. Right. Now she's back to everybody. Right. Uh, and, and she does this thing where she gets a whole bunch of kids in her gaze. And of course, when she did the first gaze, she, we, we noted that she seemed to see the climax at going up. And now, this is what she's vividly enacting, is the right. whole scene it's of it. Like and it's getting, getting in front of her mm -hmm. face, even yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And that's a very vivid scene. Yeah. And that that would have been that's almost like she did the thing that she wanted at first, and where you've got this dramatic enactment, and it's almost like she's looking for all the kids to, to you know, to, to, to appreciate that. Well, wait, okay. Yeah, though I wonder whether was there an issue. I mean, it's really hard to know what this class was about, what right. she was trying to do, because we haven't seen the earlier parts, right. so we don't know what the experiment is. They yeah. must know. Yeah. But uh, do you think there was a business about anything about explosion? We're going to get to those explosions. But. Well, I wonder, I mean, I, I, what it seemed to me they might be trying to demonstrate, because she says some point, so we can see that things take up space. Yeah. And I'm wondering if the demonstration was simply that you put a bunch of junk in the thing and the water rises. 
Right. So, and, and I'm, so I'm wondering if, if the gas was irrelevant at that point. Probably was, but maybe she's trying to figure out, so the yeah. idea is to say, so the gas is what you're now putting in there. Yeah. And it has a different kind of volume. Yeah. So that it actually also takes up space, right. which is what forces the stuff out. Maybe she's, you know, extemporizing in a beautiful way yeah. from the, uh, yeah. the Coca-Cola example. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... And you did get that reaction from the little girl, but not, yeah. not a lot. Um, also, my, one other just thought. Everything is being transformed into kind of scientific language in a way. I mean, gases and things like that. Right. And it's like, so you've already got some sort of a template or toolkit for how you would look at this. And it could come across in a... I mean, I, I'm struck with the geologists how much they see things in terms of planes. Mm -hmm. So planes give them a way of thinking. So you've mm -hmm. already got yeah. a, a, a ways of construing. So this being, you know, I mean, if I were playing this with friends, I'm not sure I would talk about it as gas. I'd talk as the, uh, you know. But that brings it back to right. the, to the science class. And, and, and also to this notion of different substances with different properties and right. their interactions with each other. Right. We, we found some other serious problems ahead, with the transcript here. No, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying. So, the, so again, the interaction is missing from this in transcript right. in a really interesting way. So, you know, the big pauses where something is happening or supposed mm -hmm. to happen are just not marked. Yeah. So, 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 zip, big pause, mm -hmm. waiting for a reaction. She gets some little reaction mm -hmm. there. Then she says, and again, mistranscription, que sube, what is it that yeah. goes up? Another big wait. And she, that's got to be filled with. Mm -hmm. And, and these kids who don't know what to say, and then she says it's the gas that's yes. going up. So there's several pauses here that we need to have because they are actually showing the dynamic of what's trying to happen in the class. Mm -hmm. So, and interestingly as well, notice, uh, yeah, so here, when she does this question, she's really gone back into teacher mode. Yeah. Right? She's really right. now saying, okay, now I'm back asking you questions which you're right. supposed to respond to. Right. I, I've got a, a student now who's been working in Jordan in schools, uh -huh, uh -huh. and uh, she's mostly interested in uh, sort of Islamic religious instruction and uh -huh. in ethics, uh -huh. because she has the idea that in Jordan, any school, no matter what its purpose is, maybe they're there to teach you English, maybe they're there to teach you physics, but it has to have a kind of religious element in mm -hmm. all of the teaching. And one of the things she's been really interested in is these kinds of interactions between teachers where they're trying to get a, an answer to students and what kind of an answer they expect. Mm -hmm. Because she has the very strong suspicion that there's just a standard there that what yeah. you're expecting is actually a choral answer from the students. Oh. And you suppress individual answers. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And it has to do, again, with a kind of Islamic uh, yeah. ethics about, uh -huh. uh, about authority and about, uh -huh. uh, about uh, you know, individual uh, expressions within it. Oh. Uh, so, the if if as I assume some of this stuff was recorded partly because of the bilingual part and partly yeah. because of the teacher pedagogy part, then uh, so everything we've been saying about this as a little detour from her lesson right, plan that's right. comes back again because now she's figured out a way both to let the kids do whatever she thinks she needs to do and extract at least something from it that brings her right back into the overall yeah. class. Again. Yeah. And then that's sort of demonstrated by the fact that then we get all these these responses from these different kids. It'd be interesting to see how that works. Right, right. Let's, right let's, far. let's see. She's starting to ask you Yeah, and this, okay, so he's, is, it's this guy coming in with the bubbles at this point, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, although it's the other kids, because he comes in with saying it actually explodes. Oh, he does. Okay, think. okay, okay. Yeah. Let's, let's have a look. No, no, 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Kid says, y también los bobos. Yeah. So, so that's just not transcript here. Or maybe it is. It's a little bit, this is all a mess. Yeah, yeah. It's all a mess. It's hard right, to hear, right, for one thing, right. but it's not clear. So the guy in red that says, y también los bobos, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Which maybe, oh. maybe that's all supposed no. to be here overlapping. I'm not sure who else. Who says, who says? <laughs> And then there's something about her face here. She acknowledges the correctness without saying. Uh, uh, the <laughs> que sube. Yeah, and there's another pivot here. She goes from one to the other. Yeah. Oh, and then she has the the chance, as you were saying earlier. She um, uh, she corrects the. She corrects the, the, the wrong right. article. The wrong right. article, which right. isn't a wrong article when it's bubbles, right. because it's just English. But it is if you want to say the Spanish word. Which one of the kid gets right? So, so the, basically, the transcriber here has just flubbed it a little bit because it's impossible uh -huh. to, to pull apart. Yeah. Uh, but it's true. It's because she also does a, a pointing at the kid with yeah. a, a kind of approving. You got it right. Right. Let's just see that. I wonder okay. if that's really just about las. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. aha. That's interesting. So this kid says, y también los, los bubbles in yeah. English. He says also, y también las bubbles, uh -huh. first time around. And then he repeats it saying, y también los bubbles, and that's when she corrects him as uh -huh. las burbujas. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Interesting to know, because we want to know more about these different kids and their various kinds of yeah. language competences. But this is this does strike me as a little bit like a, a little bit of Sort of backwards language instruction, and uh -huh. she's getting the, you know, no, there's no particular reason why bubbles in English has any gender at all, but burbujas clearly yeah. does have a gender. Yeah. But she let certain things pass at the beginning. I mean, I was wondering to what extent they're focusing correcting language. Let's look. That's good. Because I think it, because it's this kid actually changes, I think, from las, oh, okay. las bubbles to los bubbles, yeah. which would be a mistake. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this is where I want you to do. Can we see it one more time? Yeah. Yeah, it's just really hard to say. If you want to do it, you can. No, no. Oh, okay. this, is where yeah, this is funny. Right? Yeah, so, so I think you're right. I think she's got they, the transcript is better. Actually, I think he does do this thing. I can't tell exactly what he's saying here about that. Is it the guy? Oh, it doesn't make any sense. Something wrong here. But but he is talking about this kid is talking about his explosion, and he does say explosion. He says it later on, but it's all overlapped. Yeah. But then this kid seems to say both, or I may, I may be wrong. Maybe it's different kids. I mean, they've got well, let's see. Kind of different You're talking kids. about the guy in the black shirt. The los and the las. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the same kid who says that? I thought so, but I'm not sure. It does. Yeah. It looks like it's the same kid, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And he changes the article. Yeah. Yeah. Which is funny because he changes it in the wrong direction. I, I guess again, it's a little bit hard to know. I think he, I think he says it the other way around. Yeah. yeah. In las burbujas, but I may be wrong about that. You know, this, this is a hard one to figure. Yeah. Uh, this is where, I mean, just in terms of methodology, this is the point after we gotten here, uh -huh. where I was doing the audio transcript. But what I would be doing is I'd be pulling this up in Audacity, yeah. so I could pick out the things right yeah. at this point. That's right. And Me that's, too. And I wouldn't be looking at the video at all. I'd be actually just be trying right, to concentrate right, right. really hard on just the right, audio. right, uh, right. And also be able to see if you can figure out these people, because you can't really tell it very well from, from this. This is one of the reasons with the signers, I have to have always two cameras. Oh, OK. I have to have yeah, one right, this way and one this way. I can see. I can understand that. Uh, yeah. Because it's really hard to tell exactly who's doing what when. Yeah. And I have to be sure that I can sync the two views up. And what do you do? Do you have like the space of the house set up so that it's you don't have to exactly, because you sound like you're getting very interesting things, like when they ignore the older sister. Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, with my father, I just have the kitchen set up and we go. Right. 
and, and once you had the cameras in place, you could let a lot of more normal stuff go. Yeah, I mean, what I usually do, it depends. I've changed uh, in recent, in the last year or so, I've been trying to do everything in my house, uh -huh. in my house, because for one thing, I've got electric plugs that work. Yeah. Whereas I don't <laughs> yeah. in their house, we had to sort of jerry rig wires from bulbs uh -huh. and things like that. And also, we get terrible rain noise and other things oh, like that. And the light is hard to control. Yeah. So I, so I usually set up a room in advance with a table where they uh -huh. sort of know where they're supposed to sit. And I have uh -huh. sometimes three cameras, but I usually I always have at least two cameras going sort of against each other, and we just turn it off. And you know, so I run those things. I, I try now to keep my takes to no more than about an hour, and I try to have all the cameras go for an hour and then stop at the same time, uh -huh. so that it's easier to synchronize them. Otherwise, yeah. it's a terrible right. nightmare. To right. Right. But basically, I don't do anything. With it. I don't right. touch the cameras once we start. Right. That's something else with respect to the, you know, the, the proposal for the conference when they were using Eleanor stuff on transcription series. The first thing is actually the filming itself, mm. in terms of organizing. That's the first thing that, that really, yeah. If, if mm. we talk about the theory of transcription, you have to. It's a theory of what you capture in the Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And absolutely, definitely worth thinking about. And here, you know, I, this is a pretty good film. Right. Really, given the circumstances, right. I'd like to be able to see a little bit, like over mm. the teachers shoulder to see what yeah. she's able to perceive. Right, right, right. And she has got a difficult job of trying to negotiate all that. Absolutely. Well, we know that from our own teaching, but not as, not quite as the same thing as this in terms of... She goes back to her, El Gaz Sube, and in a certain sense, and she gets a nod, that is, in just that phrase, she encapsulates the whole thing that has gone on. The right. girl trying to show the soube, her coming back with the gas. And, and the water would, level soube. Yeah, yeah, soube. yeah. Yeah, you're right. So there's yeah. something about, uh, yeah, that's right. There's a kind of poetic structure here to, the, yeah. to her, uh, her theme. I mean, we should, probably should go back and look earlier at the film, but I, yeah. maybe this is enough. I think it's, it's uh, right. Right. done what we're supposed to do. Yeah. Can we, if, go ahead. What, what, what if we look, what if we look at this sequence again from the start, just looking at, uh, what do we look at it with the sound off actually? Okay. Just again to try to draw our attention. I mean, this sounds a little bit more like you're saying, let's look at what happens. Not from right. the very beginning, but just from where we started 117 or something like that. Is that where we were? Yeah. That's where this transcript would be. Okay. So. And because we may, may be missing some striking things about what's actually going on. In this, right. In this right. Let's take a look. We've missed a lot about what's happening with the kids. So you first of all got this hand being held like this. Yeah. Then she takes her watch. She does her story. One thing that just has been sitting in the back of my head, maybe, is that she doesn't look toward the gesturing hands. But I know Marion Gunberg, I think, once argued that that's where you look generally. That generally it's not the focus, and people pick up gesture from peripheral vision. You know, the funny thing about this is, though, the sign language people also have a very strong dogma, uh -huh. I think completely unsubstantiated, uh -huh. that people don't look at signing hands either. Uh -huh. When somebody's signing at you, you're looking at their face. Uh -huh. That's that's the claim. That most of these, and maybe that's true for ASL, uh -huh. which is extraordinarily highly codified and so on. But there are many, many times when people do look at signing hands. Signers themselves look at signing hands. And so other interlocutors look at those signing uh -huh. hands. Uh -huh. And there are some signs, at least for my guys, that it seem to be designed to draw your attention to the hand because there's something uh -huh. about yeah. configuration that isn't probably, because you don't have any very developed uh, phonology yeah. in this sign language, yeah. you actually need to pay attention to the hands. Yeah. Uh, again, it goes along with my own uh, preoccupation recently with where people are actually attending. But it's sort of be interesting to look at this as a whole configuration to see where they're attending. Because the kids get into this thing about playing with the, yeah. the papers as though they're licensed to do that when right. she's in her little interaction with the two kids. Right. It's almost right. she they're de demonstrating to the teacher that she's got to keep them all together, or they're going, she's going to lose them. Well, they recognize it's been transformed dyadic interaction. It's only those, but they're but they immediately go to something else. That's right. the amazing right. thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. And, and there's questions about that, because I know Tanya Stivers, I, I don't agree. Oh, mm -hmm. OK. But she cited a thing of candy, right. where you know the, the kids' stories where they go into a diet. But it's not really a diet, because the whole importance of the audience. Yeah. They're constantly doing that for it. Yeah, OK, so I guess we're if, if you're good, off the hook. feels right? like a good time. You're off the hook. <laughs> yeah, why, don't we, why don't we just play it through once? Yeah, because we, we, yeah, we were doing something here without the sound, just to uh, <laughs> just it. Yeah, see, the kids are already not starting to play around with right. the right. paper airplanes. Right. They're lost here. They're just out of here. Only a couple.
couple of them are paying attention to what she's doing at all. Now she finally gets this guy back. Mm -hmm. And just as an aside, there's more going on here when she does her explosion yeah. that's completely missing on this transcript. Because in fact, she, when she does that and then says, it, so what is it that goes up? She gets some answers, but she also gets a little bit of other dialogue. So this kid also then has a little conversation with her, which is completely inaudible, but offering some other little alternative answer oh, for what it looks yeah, like. Yeah. Uh, which is, again, partly to say that our own yeah. Our, our own attention here has to be focused on something. And it's going to, as a result, it's going to have to miss a lot of the peripheral stuff right. inside here, yeah. which the teacher would probably rather not know about. She'd rather not yeah. have brought to her attention the fact that she's actually lost the. Well, then she'd have to be students. accountable for that and couldn't. Yeah. yeah. And one, only one other very simple observation, just from having seen it, silence. We've been talking about gaze, but the teacher is actually doing a lot with her whole upper body, Indeed. like coming up into the tent and things, and it's the whole manipulation yeah. of that as well. That's right. So yeah. again, she's doing again doing teacherness, as it were, yeah. by, by really controlling yeah. the space, by right. taking on herself the possibility of doing these really sort of massive right. movements. And it gets it gets the kids right back as soon as she does this, they're all back on.